Harry! Harry! Oh, there he is. Good morning. Oh, sorry, well, I'm just uh, enjoying my new gift. Beep. Somebody posted out to me. Who actually posted me a fidget spinner after last week's episode? That's what I want to know. And Amazon passed arrived with this in it on uh, Monday. Well, they must have watched the episode and did it pretty quickly yeah. for next day delivery. Yeah. If anybody else wants to buy me nice gifts on Amazon, postal address is 65 Chester Road, Birmingham B75VA, Harry Troni, HV20 Metals. Send me some nice things. I was just admiring Will with my fidget spinner, uh, the TDL customer service. Oh yeah, customer support. Yeah, customer service, yeah. Customer support, sorry. Because that, right, I've never seen that for the tourists. Bit of a, just get my head around it. So we had two brand new uh, Atlas cranes. Uh, they cost 600,000 quid. And um, oh. this is when I said in last week's episode that were quite reasonable. Although the machines are brand new, there's been one issue with the one with a bit of speed. It's only like uh, a solenoid or something. It's like very basic stuff. Just turn the pressure up on the hydraulics, not a problem. TDL straight out, fixed it, done. Can't moan. No, you're you're the king of scrap. How many how many kilo today? We'll do five ton. Five ton. Yes. Nice man. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Very good. You got too much jiggy jiggy for five ton. Hey, viva! <laughs> so, and then how's, your, how's your morning coffee? Uh, it tastes like options. Tastes like reassurance. Tastes well. I wouldn't say that it's the fault, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like uh, tastes like possibly uh, an updated dealing pending. Maybe. Put it this way: it's not a tourist mug because all the mugs are in the factory working. Or are you the mug for buying it? Well, listen, listen. <laughs> it was not. It was nice and shiny. We got sold the dream. Have a quick look, though, Will. Last week we showed you guys them steel sheets that are in the ground. Cost £18,000, right? Because I was a bit disappointed that we couldn't buy enough to fill like the whole space side to side. But that was like their 18 grand for the sheet, so we might do a few more in a few months. Uh, but it would be nice to get like all of that side of the tipping area sheeted. We'll just protect the concrete. Uh, well, the only thing I'm worried about is in the winter when it's icy. Steel on steel with a feet, so we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We might just have to weld crosses and marks onto the steel to make it look rough. You could host, like, I don't know, an ITV skating show, like, dancing on scrap. Just get, oh, I don't know what we could do, just take tyres off cars. Just, yeah. No, it's been a, it's been a, it's, so far it's Tuesday, it's been a very quiet week. Now, I don't have an actual tourist update for you guys when we're filming this, because this video is being filmed on Tuesday, and our video only went out two days ago. So we don't have, they haven't replied yet. Uh, we have got an oil report coming back from Hassel's today, hopefully, with some good news on it, that the second engine hasn't got any problems. That's it, really. I'll go in, I'll see if there's any other updates from the solicitors or the, uh, the cat experts and things, but other than that, right now, nothing. So we're still in limbo land. So a very nice big ornament. Huh? So nice to be able to talk about it so freely. Well, we just tried. And that noise, man. We have tried to be helpful and like work with them, because, and then, but at the end of the day, they just took the piss. That the guy that the guy that runs it, apparently, right? So the guy that we deal with there, we're like obviously forwarding all the emails and talking to and trying to ask for help. He's obviously going to his boss, like owns the company. He's just not even he's not even replying to him. So anyway, one thing we are good at, which is definitely not buying shares. Motors, the bay is pretty empty. We are going through them quickly. Uh, we have uh, more boxes going out. The market is very, very difficult to buy at the moment because it's a bit of a bit of a, a shaky one. We've got um, no sales really, and a lot of the exporters that we deal with, everyone's struggling for sales. Not sure why. It's just gone down because it was so high for a long time, like eight fifties, nine hundreds. People have got used to it. And then as soon as it drops now, like basically to about the eight hundred pound a ton mark, everyone's a bit like, well, you know. But we need to go and tell the wastemans that the commenters were fuming. Hungry? Why? Well, just about them scrapping those. Oh, yeah, Sean! Did you read the comments? Uh, what? Everyone was moaning at you for scrapping yeah. them lathes. Oh, I know, mate. What so, can you do? Saying they're worth a grand, they are, this, that, the other. 
Uh, what are you going to store them to sell them though soon? Well, that's what people don't realise is you got to actually put the effort in to sell them and that. They could be worth a grab instead of 140 quid, as they said. And another one, Sean's a gorm. Who's that? that? Oh, Sean, please. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw that one. I I did. Did. Let me see what someone said. Sean the gorm. Sean the gorm, that's f***ing jokes, that is. Mate, call me what you want, as long as you don't call me late for me dinner, sir. <laughs> I'll, I'll Sean the gorm. Sean the gorm, mate. I never even cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Try them. Haters are gonna hate, mate. Haters are gonna hate. Well, that, that is true, that is. What's the price of brace today, H? Where is it? Uh, there's loads on here. George, how long my, my brace and your brace is usually two different things. That's all right, that is, to be fair. But I'm stripping these uh, steel boxes wherever they are. Get the stuff one. off, get yeah. the stuff off, and I'll have a look. Fine, I can't price it on that, I can't even see what it is. Quite like that name, Sean the Gorm. Sean the Gorm. Problem is, though, it's not a Gorm, that's the thing. Uh, oh, let's go have a look at these, let's go have a look at the floor. Oh. So, yeah, there we have it. We've got steel floor now. Ooh. Steel floor. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, obviously this is the area that everything gets tipped, loaded, all that sort of stuff. So if it protects it and keeps it from causing any further damage or needing a replacement, ideally. Oh, no. Well, look what I've just seen. That is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking, mate. Busby and Craig both give theirs up. And I collected them yesterday, or I collected them on Saturday. Very sad. Uh, but yeah, steel floor will be fantastic for us uh, going forward. And eventually, do each side. Future proofing more. It would be double fruit. I would have actually been able to afford the full yard if the tourist was running. But it's not. And also, guys. How long have I been back from France? One week? Yeah. But a week, no vaping. Ooh. Actually, more than that. 10 days. Congrats. I've just cut it out. Well done. And I've signed up to 17th of May 2025, the Lanzarote Ironman. Full Ironman as well, not the half one like I did last time. Full three mile swim, 156 mile cycle, and a marathon in one day. After France, I felt that was sick that I put a stone on. I thought, right, what can I do to get it off? I know what I'll do. I sign up to one of the hardest sporting things you can do. <laughs> could just go to the gym or... I go to the gym every day, but I don't lose any weight well, because I just love beer and food. <laughs> I think it's the quietest I've ever seen the yard. Oh! What? I bought boxes today and I forgot. Yeah. Do I have enough material? <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. I should have some more coming back in a minute. Um, yeah, the yard is really quite slow. I don't know whether it's just summer holidays, August, factory shutdowns, things like that. The phones are steady. It's just, it's just quiet. It's, it's all right, but the okay. yard's clean. We're on top of everything. Um, and I think as well, because not just us, but I mean, volumes get turned over so much. Like, for example, motors, we buy hundreds of tons in. Eventually, it just needs a bit of a reset for everyone to sort of get back into it. Maybe that's now, so. But apparently, did I say last week about the ingots in Turkey? Did I say that last week? Yeah. So apparently, to fetch, uh, there's quite a lot of Chinese uh, steel ingots that have been sold to like everyone. So there's no there's no need right now for steel market uh, Turkey steel refiners to be buying like the UK scrap and things. In fact, let me just have a quick look and make sure I got that right. So. Nose wipe. Huh? Nose wipe. There's actually a lip wipe. Yeah. Where's my where's my spinner? Stop doing it. <laughs> have I done it yet today? What? Have I done it yet today? Uh once. I'm gonna count from now on. Oh yeah. So <laughs> Turkey scrap prices fell to the lowest levels in 2024 to date following a deal from Europe heard. Following a deal. Uh da -da 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 -da. The Turkish market is expected to take in less scrap this month and next due to large tonnages of Chinese and Malaysian billets booked to competitive prices over recent weeks. Also shred into containers to go to India. Strapped. And UK scrap volumes are tight uh, and therefore has been difficult to buy at lower prices. Da -da -da -da. So there we go. That is, that is where we're at. It's a bit, bit steady. That was right. Oh, f***s sake, man. <laughs> um, Choose some comments, Wolf. Yes. When the yard's like this, it's a bit boring, isn't it? I'm going to come in next Tuesday. Yay! Because what is next Monday? Bank holiday. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually they're busy, right? 
fuck's sake, man. Even he's doing it, what? taking the piss. <laughs> jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Doodly doo doo doo. Come on, Will. Don't raise your leg too much. Louise Wood might get excited. Louise Wood probably is. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, no. It's underscore Mark one day ago. Well, that's my Taurus order cancelled. <laughs> I'm still a bit unsure. No what <laughs> Spin it. Will you pay more for really clean brass? Uh, brass is brass. Yeah, no, I mean, like, no, not really. Brass is brass. We buy clean mixed brass, and if it's clean mixed brass, it's just a set rate. But if you have clean, you have brass with like excessive stuff on it, like the stainless steel hoses and things like that, then it goes down to contaminated brass because we can't just tip it from one bin to another. We have to tip it onto the floor, process it, bin, then go into the clean. That has to be paid for. So, really clean brass. No matter how clean it is, if it's really clean, it just goes in the clean brass, and that is worth today three eighty. Three eighty. Three pound eighty a kilo. Nice. Hey, we waste wagons here. We still need to do a. Of we do need to do a tour of Will Shoes to be fair, but I'm waiting for Craig to wake up. I conned him into signing up to the Iron Man as well. <laughs> oh, Chase. Chaz MCL42, Taurus Management. I hope your next <laughs> is a head show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just want talking to. We don't want, like, loads of stuff. Anyway. Right. Reg Scott 8626. Harry, it seems the engine is sat in a cradle behind the machine in a corner with no airflow whatsoever. I think the complete redesign of the oil and water cooling systems with external radiators and fans that actually move a significant amount of air through the rads would be the first set to prolong the life of the engine. Not only that, an oil dry sump system for each engine would give you a visible oil filter to check daily and move the oil tank pump filter away from the machine and make maintenance far easier for you to maintain. I probably agree with you. I don't know what any I of that means. I do agree. Because it's I? like driving a car with, with no wind getting to it. It's like wrapping the front of your car in carpet and then expecting it not to overheat when you drive it. Um, I get it, right? But at the end of the day, that machine was bought and designed and it took 12 months to arrive. And not once did Taurus or Mickey Coots or anyone involved in the deal decide to tell the uneducated mechanics, i.e. me, oh, we don't think that Taurus should go there. It's not got enough airflow. Oh, we think if you want it in this area, we need to add more stuff to it. Oh, like, we're not mechanics. We've just said that we want a machine here. I could have said to, I could have said to Taurus, we're not on the roof of the building. They would have gone, well, I don't know, it weighs under a ton, mate. It might not fit. They probably wouldn't have said that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And they would have arrived here with the cranes, put the roof, fell through, and gone, oh, well, you told us to put it there. It's like, we're not mechanics. You guys have designed a machine, so you guys must have an idea of what it can and can't do and where it can and can't go. So that's, again, it's, it's not our problem. Well, it shouldn't be our problem. Um, I, th I think he was just trying to help. Yeah, sorry, mate. So, <laughs> you'll get rolled up. Um, and we can't start dictating what modifications we are doing to the machine because at the end of the day, it has warranty. So we didn't want to assume to do anything or try anything to lose our warranty. But as somebody else has commented today, the warranty really doesn't mean poor. So. You know, we've just we, we've tried to do everything properly from the first issue, which is obviously get Cat out, get Taurus out, and then it's just gone downhill from there, really, which is a shame. Oh, someone's moaning about Sean's lathes. Two or three grand no, there worth. <laughs> Two or three grand there worth. Well, <laughs> there's money in everything, isn't there? But if you don't know it's there, then it's just first first profit's your best profit. Remember that. Oh, I've realised that fidget spinner isn't working because you're using the same hand to wipe your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that as well. <laughs> Some bloke years ago warned you about Taurus in the comments. He said it was a bunch of junk and they're not reliable. He shot him down in the next video and told him he's known as nothing. Well, 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 haha. -ha. Well, well, well. So last week we kept it really secret about our new, new shear we're planning on buying. Fortunately, I can actually disclose today what we've bought, when it's arriving, how much we paid for it. We've brought our new shear off a company called Neutron Equipment from Reading. Um, they provide and are the UK's uh, main dealers for Taurus, right? Now, Taurus are renowned for being one of the best shears, if not the best. <laughs> most definitely the most robust. We know that the build quality is second to none. Our 600 tonne Lafort that we run at the minute weighs 45 tonnes. Our new Taurus is 205, so it's going to last a lot longer. It's going to last a lot longer.
to not say really about that. Oh, if you go to the next one, that was a year ago. Oh yeah, a year ago. Cody Brancher. Taurus isn't the way to go. A bond thing is the way to go. Well, Cody Brancher, why don't you pop out and tell us what to do next? And then what about the, the next one? Uh, oh, that was at season one as well. Three years ago. It, three years ago. If Taurus are telling you their equipment is the best, they're talking a load of bull. And that was from T5 Jerry three years ago. Well, mate, you're right. <laughs> do you know what? I will say, when the machine's running, it sounds. That's not that. That's never been an issue. The like, actual Taurus part is all right. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just yeah. The, the machines, are, the machines all right. And I'm yeah. not, we've never knocked the machine for what it, when it when it works, the performance of it. We've never knocked it. It eats through the scrap and produces really good one and two for us. We've never ever moaned about that. What we have moaned about is when we've had a problem, they just turn the phones off. And in our game, and a lot of people out there will be in similar industries where you're using these machines, the after service is the only thing that counts. Because when things go wrong, which they will, you need support, and they've given us nothing. And probably, if you had a Caterpillar engine, it would probably go for 10 years. But because Taurus have designed it and put it where it is, that's the issue. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's not like, yeah. There's loads of different factors to it. it. It's not like one. So it's all right to saying the Caterpillar engine's blown up, but well, I don't know, mate. It's f I'm not a mechanic. I don't want to say something that is wrong. Do you know what I mean? Between the design of the machine and then the position of it and then the engines that have been used, something isn't right. And none of it is at the end of the day. I one, one, I haven't positioned the machine there without permission, or at least somebody go, yeah, it'll be all right. Or I haven't built the machine. I haven't installed anything. So how's it my fault? I haven't even looked after it. We've had professional tourist agents to do it from day one and it's still gone wrong and it's if still anyone, our fault. If anyone's to blame it is not the receptionist. Yeah, I'm just a glorified receptionist. Yeah. Carpenter 165, roll up at the premises for some of your trucks. Um, they should come and talk then. With TV cameras and vloggers, well, they're in Italy, mate, this is the problem. No, right. It's not like down road. <laughs> Here's yeah. a good one. So good. Oh, I was reading it. Yeah, there's a lot of people are just recommended to look at after sales, which it's all right saying all these companies push the sales, not the after sales, but we, we obviously inquired about the after sales and you know, we've been in the game long enough to realize that it's a big part of it. And we were told that Taurus had a great foot in the UK with parts and fixing and things like this, which has turned out to be lies basically. Why don't you have a skip for broken glass? And when customers come in, they can break the glass in a skip and you can recycle it instead of testing it about the yard. Da -da 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 -da. Because it costs to get rid of. So we'll be paying for something that we don't want. And also, we don't have the space. We do not have a spare inch in this yard. We have outgrown it in the last three years. Astronomically, we are looking for new premises all the time, suitable for us. Um, it's few and far between. We know that Pew's offered a glass tip for their UPVC. Not sure how it worked for them, but yeah, if you want to get rid of that for free, message someone like him. And then there's a picture of me driving your Mustang. Yeah, it was a painful morning. Your Mustang got a good see into and she loved it. Should we go and see it? What? Sally. What? Sally. See your car? Yeah. Oh, you don't have a go in it. You, you begged me you to- have a go in it. No, you already have. Don't have another go. No, the keys are inside. You begged me to drive it today. I did, mate. Well, cost, I've seen it now and I've been out of it. Cost me triple in fuel to get That's here. That's all right. You love it. Think about the depreciation. I mean, the appreciation. I'm not painting my 63 black, so next week, Will. Yeah. On the Tuesday. Yeah. We should have a V8 off. Oh no, because I'm not bringing it again. What? Why? Why not? I want to go through the tunnels. You oh, it does look good though. I can't knock it. Really can't knock it, mate. You've done well there. Thank you. I'm a big fan. That. That, them front lights, what are they? What, just the lights? Are they just lights? Yeah. Are you a supercharger? Is there anything cool to it? No, oh, not yet. I've had it a week. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that Matt Armstrong's cameraman recently bought a uh, Lamborghini? Yeah, but he's got a million subs. Posts on TikTok and does loads of stuff. What do you do for me? Well, quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try that one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I'm going to buy next? What? I'm going to buy next uh, after my cosy. I'm going to buy next year. Oh, you haven't told the viewers about your cosy? Uh, I haven't bought it yet. I haven't had a deal yet. The deal hasn't come about, so we'll just leave it at that until it happens. But it's on your Instagram. 
Yeah, it is, yeah. So go to my Instagram and have a look, and you might be like, oh my god, he's bought someone else. Anyway, I'm buying next year. Guess. You won't guess it. Well, it's not going to be a Taurus. It's definitely not going to be a Taurus. Um. I want to buy a 997.2 Porsche 911. Mm. Um, but the old one, like 2010. But you can only afford that if your Taurus gets fixed. They're quite big money, to be fair, so I want, it's like a real big, like, it's what I want to get in the future. I want to get enough cars, right, that. Good cars that I'll appreciate as well. So, I don't, I, mean, I, I don't think I've done that with my 63, I think I've wrecked that. You have wrecked it. <laughs> That's a toy that is now. <laughs> sake. What? So, my missus goes to High Rocks classes. What's that? It's like, High Rocks is like, it's basically CrossFit without any weight. So you do all the CrossFit stuff, like the burpees and the box jumps, all that sort of stuff, but there's no like heavy weights involved. So there'll be like wall balls and stuff like that. And she does it with a mate, and I was showing off to a mate saying, oh yeah, it's easy that is. And they've both put me on today. So I thought, like, <laughs> for sake, man. <laughs> I don't do cardio anymore. I play rugby. And, and do you know what? I ran 5K last night. You just said five minutes ago, I put on a stone, I've signed up to an Ironman. So it sounds like tonight is perfect. Yeah, exactly. That's what I need. I need to start doing more of this stuff. I'm yeah. f***ing so strong, bro. <laughs> Deadlifts and squats. and might just start steroids and just become an athlete. All the Olympians are on drugs, aren't they? Yeah. I might just f***ing go for it. I might just start doing tests and that. Me? Yeah. My engine will probably blow up like the tourists. My heart will go in it if I start doing all that. <laughs> right. I am actually very, very impressed with your car, mate. I'm a big, big fan. Thank and you. And I think what we should do is... What? You're busy now the rest of the year, aren't you? Well, it's wedding season, so yeah. Hence, bangers has the taken problem, a little while. The only while. benefit we have is like the summer, summer stretches out now quite far, doesn't it? Yeah. So we could, we could. Try, I, I want to do a little road trip somewhere. We could do like Dublin or something for one night. Yeah. Drive there. You, you can follow us because you won't keep up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well. You won't keep up with me. Yeah, well. My 63 stage two remap. My God, Marty goes up road and does all quick. <laughs> it's been absolutely Birmingham. It has. It has been Birmingham. I like the colour as well. So white in it. Yeah, huh? All white. It's not all white. Wow. I like the wheels. Are they aftermarket? They are. They are? Yeah. Has it been lowered? Yep. Has it? Yep. Has it actually? Yep. It's got a Roush intake, Kooks headers, sports cat. Why have you locked the car as well? Because I really want that monster now. I think it's locked half the money as well. Very much so. I'm waiting for the fans to arrive. If the fans arrive, we can go and get them. Fans? Yeah. What fans? you got no fans. Huh. Is that some more lathes? From is that a lathe? Is it? I don't even know what a lathe oh, is. I don't know, but is that from Sean? What is a lathe? No idea. Oh, I've got a clue. Oh, it's worth 93,000 quid, that is. Well, can we give you 80 grand for it then? Only sell 13,000. <laughs> That's how it all works. Everyone does that. Oh, it's worth a grand, that is. Well, can we give you 800 quid? Only sell 200. Bite off it, but nobody ever turns up and does it. You're very aggressive to the commenters this morning. Because they want you. Yeah, but the, they are the people that view the channel, which makes it the whole point in doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just here for fun. <laughs> Who needs to buy a conveyor belt and you got your own here? Don't show Rich that. What? He'll, he'll want to keep this. I know. Uh, should we have a little Rich update? Let everyone yep. know how he's getting on. Well, he is... Just for... A few people asked what happened to Rich, so I'm assuming they must have missed. Uh, Richard had a motorbike accident. Somebody pulled out on him, unfortunately. Um, he wasn't speeding. He wasn't going very fast. However... It was sunny and summer, so we didn't have the correct protective clothing on, you know. But we only got Harley Davidson, so it wasn't like racing bikes or anything. And uh, somebody pulled out on him, he's gone over, t-shirt shorts. Very much the definition of dress for the ride, not the crash. Um, and he ended up in a coma for three weeks, and he's broke a lot of bones and caused himself a lot of damage. And he had two bleeds on the brain, lots of facial fractures, uh, pierced bladder. But he's awake, he's at home, and he's much better, and he is himself, which was the main thing, so he's going to be okay. He's just obviously got to recuperate and rest and recover, which is taking, well, will take a long time, and obviously health comes first, and he's fortunate that we can run the business while he's, uh, while he's looking after himself. Yeah, we missed him very much. I was with him the weekend, and he's, like I said, he's, he's all right. He's very upset that it happened to him, which is quite hard to get your head around, because at the end of the day, he was riding his bike, 100%, flying the flag, living the dream, right? Then woke up three weeks later, like, what's happened? And it took him a while to get his head, like, his rich would, you know, tackle anything. And then all of a sudden he's, he can't, so, yeah. He's, uh, he's all right, he's, he'll get there, it's just time. Ricky T will be back to do some nodding on camera and be awkward. 
one day, maybe soon. Imagine if you woke up speaking Welsh or something. Because that happens, doesn't it? Out of a coma, you wake yeah. up and he was like, oh, I want to go be a monk and live in Thailand. I'll ask him if you do a little video note and we're all going to edit it in. Should we do it now? Should we FaceTime? Oh, hang on a minute. No, I've had a phone call. Hang on one second. This is why you drive fast cars, because your life is 100 miles an hour. How are you doing, Mr. Celebrity? <laughs> oh, yeah. St 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 oh, Steve, you're just on a. You're actually just on camera. Tell, tell, just tell what happened the other day when you phoned me. Someone rang, Someone came into me in the pub and said, that <laughs> Harry Toronto, I hate his guts. <laughs> so I had to ring you to tell you. You did, didn't you? You had to FaceTime me. <laughs> <laughs> you sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I was calling to ask if my fans had arrived. Yes. They have? And the bloke is ringing me now. I've changed it, mate. It did say five working days. Um, when did I order it? Was it Thursday? So, they ha they ha sorry, you just said they have arrived and then you said that you're chasing it. No, he's ringing me now. Oh, right, okay, fine, so got I'm it. Chasing it. They haven't arrived, mate. Okay, cool. Um, I think I ordered them on Thursday. He said five working days. Sad. Obviously, yeah. if you've done it, it'd be like two weeks when it's useless. <laughs> nice one, mate. South. Steve Bankford, he owns 3D Fabrications in Colesville, and he, uh, he, we, obviously, he does ducts and stuff like that. And we've asked him to provide us with special fans that we can drill to the wall of the Taurus area to provide better circulation of air, dust, and things like this. It's just nice. one of the, one of the simple, but but hopefully effective options we have in terms of. So something someone suggested in the comments. We'd already planned that anyway, but no, right. thank you for the suggestion. But we, I mean, it's a very, it, is, it is what it is. It's a, it could be a very simple solution to a big problem. But uh, a minute ago, you said, oh, we can't start doing oh. stuff like that. You're a bit snooking through the machine, is it? Just froze. Don't panic. Don't panic, I'm here. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's a good job I am. Uh... It is a good job you're here, isn't it? Yeah, no, let everyone know how great I am. <laughs> Come in, do a quick control alt delete, and you've saved the day. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh, lovely look at that. These are nice. White chocolate chocolate. These are my favourite as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Do you want to cook it? How's the uh, diet going? I don't even know it's copper under the phone. <laughs> I'm just not the face and stuff. I didn't put the energy after doing that now, mate. Fing hell, man. Don't worry, it's all right, son. I'll fly around somewhere there. Is that copper? Yeah, is oh, it? But, mate, I promise you. But that's what I'm saying. For 550 a kilo, I'll throw it all What? With the clean. With the clean. With the clean. With the clean. I'll throw all of it on 550. Do me a deal on five and a half, Sean, with that good stuff. Because you've got these ends, these ends are fing heavy. What are you saying? Five, five, no, do me a deal on, on, on the, I can't pay five and a half, man. Oh, come on, eh? Yeah, you gotta think, yeah, 98%. If I was now. gonna give you 590 for all that, half of it's this, it really is worth, what, four and a half? Halfway should be 520, man, for the lot. Should be. That's one of the best, mate, course. Back it all on, 530. Sweet, yeah. I've got time to care, so it's great for me. That went way too easy, that didn't matter. I've been stitched up there, bad. Keep that separate for me, I want to test it. I want to see how it works out. Can you not just burn it off? I want to see how it works out. Can you burn it off? Have a deal with you. Oh, look who's here as well. The second most famous scrap man in the UK. Mr. Pickett. Now I'll get off this now. Can you not make sure that, the make sure that good stuff goes with it. You got to be I don't give that to Derek. Oh, you got it with the kids' room. Oh, what? I thought I'd already paid for it. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you not just burn it off? Uh, I might try it, yeah. Can you burn it? Yeah, well, I am, yeah. I want to see what I'm gonna get for it. So keep these separate to that. No, put it all on together, then I'll do it afterwards. Can you load mate? Did you give Mr. Picking a present? Yeah, we do have the time machine to go. That's it, you'll have another two weeks off. Yeah. Bless him, man. He comes in at like a fiver a time and stuff. We are going to buy him a van on it, bro. Yeah. Who's going to buy him a van? So you don't want to get him a van. His driving license has expired. I said, get your license back and I'll buy you a little transit. Yeah. There's way more than a thought as well. What do you mean? Before he's left. I thought I was like 30 kilo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm letting him roll off. Not miss one. They might miss one then. Look who's on the FaceTime. All right. How are you? You also know to Will. Hello, mate. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah I'm just waiting. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just had to wait short in because he's dodgy. You know what I mean? Uh, on, the la on the last, Will was saying on the last episode, everyone was asking for you, so I just thought you might want to say hello. Really? Yeah, yeah. Got it. Right. You're all right. You're on to the You're on to the You need to come back. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. It's all right. Let's uh, see so your physio today. How's that hydro thing? It was brilliant. Was it good? There's a, few, there's a few in. There's a few in. No, not the same. There it is, yeah. It's got nothing in. Well, that's how rich I see it. So there we go. Ricky T, say hello. Come on then. Come on then, get your guns. I want to huh? see you uh, oh, yeah. doing a bit of. I only want to test it, see if it'll come off easily. <laughs> so, obviously, for environment and legal reasons, we're probably not meant to burn. However, it's just for experimentation. And wow, just like that. I actually, I actually thought that was uh, harder to burn off than I, than I thought. So, but there's definitely no weight to the foam. It's just. Hey, where are you, Willie? Come here, Willie. Right. So, Will. They are one meter wide fans. We're just waiting for uh, advice back on positioning, because. Are you filming? Is it rolling? Are you doing it? We're just waiting for advice back on, on the positioning of the fans that you've just heard us talking about. We don't know whether to put them on the wall facing like the machine in a way to make the airflow better or directly on the engines to cool the engines down. Probably I'm thinking airflow, but again, not mechanics are waiting for advice on what to do there. But the, obviously the area is quite tight, but it's not like this far away. You know, there's, there's 12, there's, there's a good six foot between the wall and the Thing. you get plenty of air down it with a bit of fan, a bit of a breeze. I don't see it being a problem. So yeah, I don't know where to put it or what to do. I'm thinking possibly like one on the wall over there. No, like on the on the, on the stairs facing this way. Blow everything like towards me wall. And then another one here to off down there. It's a bit like a That's what I'm thinking like a What do you reckon? I reckon you should get Louise Wood down here. Louise Wood. Yeah, well, she's your biggest fan, so that would work quite well. I thought you were my biggest fan, Wolf. Second. Yeah, but I don't want to see you doing an episode in your underpants, so she's definitely tops me. Oh, God, wait, so I'm doing my Iron Man chain, all six pants out of my head, but... Mm -hmm. I reckon I should come in tomorrow after you've done your Hydrox. Oh, <laughs> I just know, yeah, it's the one session, that well, the one class I want to do, I want to turn up, so, oh, hi, on today, today's class, guys, we're going to be doing a pyramid. It's. 20 burpees down to one and then back up to 20. Something like that, it's going to be vile. There's no engines at all, no? No, so no engines at all. No engines at all. This is going to get cleaned up uh, and TFR the weekend. So it's immaculato. But like I say, look, if you look here, you know, you've got, this is where the engine is. Well, my arms are out. And so you talk, you are talking six foot at least between, between the, the, even the wall and the, I mean, I'm, we're, oh, yes, we're stood here now. The trees behind the wall are moving and there's definitely a breeze. There is, and that's just fact. So any, if, if anybody wants to talk about overheating issues because of the position of the machine, I just think it's wrong. I just think it's poor design from day one. I I focus think, on, let uh, me focus on your hair, which is blowing in the breeze. Yeah, there we go. That's what I mean, like, it's, 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 it's breezy down here. It's Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> breezy. That's what it working like. Sorry, I'm just buying uh, tequila. What? <laughs> I am, I'm just buying a bottle of tequila. <laughs> Somebody commented, how much would the tour we'd get for the tourist weighed in? Well, it'd be a class as oversized burning. Let's assume it was 200 pound a ton, 100 tons, 20 grand. Do you know what the funny, the funny thing is as well? We had a deal with tourists on, on the day, right? 
a dad basically he was 25 grand outstanding for something or other instead of having it back dad said we'll leave it as a deposit for the next one. Oh. do you remember yeah you were there yeah because obviously i know we spoke about it a little bit but we're trying to get a second yard uh, we're trying to buy a second a second premises to process and stuff in and obviously that's something that we're gonna need is it maybe not one as big but we're gonna need another shitter mm -hmm. uh but will we get on them nope not anymore nose wipe nose that wipe. wasn't a nose wipe that was a mouth wipe no, you just wiped your nose no it wasn't like that wipe out okay get your fidget spinner out there it is <laughs> look, look look if you spin it right and let go Balances, Sean, it balances. Oh, no. No, oh, <laughs> No, no, scratch it. What's that? Oh, yeah. That looks faster. No, that takes off, that is. <laughs> You're so happy. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Oh no! No, I thought I had, but I hadn't, because this is a heavy one. I have scratched it though, I'm really upset about it. Right then, Lecky Moti time with the new Atlases, looking to the whole thing. I might find it there actually. Would you like to know how much your gift was? How much was my gift? 11 pounds. 11 quid? Yeah. Have you found it, have you? Yeah. Doodly. <laughs> Come on, lads, hurry up! Is that higher than it looks? Please don't die, please don't die! Oh. What an athlete, man. Oh. I'm just getting myself ready for. Have you ever been to a High Rocks class, Joe? What's that? High Rocks, you know what that is? Is it? I don't know, really, myself. <laughs> it's just. No, it's like a fitness class. Oh. Right then, Willie. So couple of boxes of motors going out and they were selling them in uh, like two, like 50 fill at a time at the minute because we don't want to over order, over sale sorry, with the market being a bit strange. Two boxes at a time, we've got two out today, two out on Friday so we're keeping ahead of ourselves. But yeah, that's it really. I will love and leave you. Please, I'll tell you what I will say, obviously it's only Tuesday we film this and Will's not back in this week because he's got, apparently he's got other people to attend to. It's wedding season. Um, I'm busy. If we have an update on the Taurus or whatever, I will do a video and then send it to Will and he can incorporate it. But if you don't see that, nothing's happened. So there's your answers to that. Uh, until that, busy yards, busy going, holding the fort down, and I will see you guys on the next episode. We're over here, not on huh? that. We're, you were talking to your phone. Man, I'm busy. Well, wow. let's go watch the Mustang leave and hear like a real boring video. Oh. Tuesday, come back and I'll bring my 63 and we can do some donuts in the yard. No. Give it a month. You can't but, buy a car like that and not, like, not. Yeah, I will. Just, just let me learn how to drive it properly. I had my 63 one day before I was donuts in it. Yeah, but you are the most chaotic man I've ever met. And that's literally what it was designed to do. By who? Ayrton Senna. No, it's got the user's name on the internet. Yeah, who is it? Oh, no. Oh. It's a German guy, Mr. Amadea. That's why I don't get why it says that in the center. On no, the I don't know why it says it, but apparently it's because I'm as good as he was. He was. Yeah. Lived on the edge, okay. like me. Right, goodbye. <laughs> huh? Goodbye. <laughs> Go and wipe your nose.